Hey guys, I'm going to be snorkeling the clearest water on the planet today with dive.is. Um, since I don't have a dive certificate, I'm going to have to snorkel, otherwise I'd probably try and go underwater. So maybe that's a goal for next year. So what's special about this place is it's where the American and the European tectonic plates are separating. And there's this gap that just drops vertically down really deep and it has the clearest water on the planet. So one of the most important things to me is when I get to, when I take my camera underwater is to have my gear ready before I actually get to a place because it's two degrees. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm actually shaking a little bit. It's probably excitement. And um, I don't want to mess up my gear or my camera stuff. So I did that when I was in Reykjavik. I had my camera all ready and calm. It's all packed up and ready to dive underwater. I don't have to worry about that now. All I have to worry about is myself. This is all the gear I'm going to use to shoot the dive. So I'm just going to show you how I get it ready. Okay, let's start with the camera. The most important thing is to get your camera ready to, before you put it in the housing because once it's in and you're in the ocean or in underwater, you can't really do anything anymore. So this is why I do this at home in the dry when I'm calm and not about to get in the water so I can't forget anything. First thing first, uh, the straps. I use Peak Design straps. They um, are awesome because they just click off and the camera will still fit into the housing with those things on it. So that's a really quick on and off thing. Then I'm using the EM1 with the 7 to 14 millimeter F2.8 Pro. One big thing that you might have noticed is a ring on here. It's basically a rubber zoom ring gear, they call it. But it allows me to zoom the lens in and out while it's in the housing. Another thing I've done before, take this off before you put it in the housing because if you once you're in the ocean, impossible to take that off as well. Other than that, make sure there's a memory card and that it's empty and that the battery is charged and full before you go. So those are like the key things I check on my camera before I go. Zoom ring, battery, the memory card, and uh, the cap. Let's move on to the housing. The housing is especially made for the EM1, so you can't fit anything else inside it. And it's a super easy open and closing system. And there's only one thing I've got to prep on the back, and that is the ceiling ring you can see here. Basically, I, when you buy the housing, you can buy O-ring grease or silicon grease. And this allows you to make the rubber greasy so it seals the housing when it's closed. Um, you just apply a little bit on it. I just did that before. And just go all the way around with your fingers. And once it's ready, that just slides on there. There you go. And that's good. And then just check around here. If there's nothing in the way, no hair, no sand, no nothing, just make sure it's clean and ready to go. And that's the housing part. Obviously there's still something missing on the front. For the housing and the 7 to 14, I need a big wide dome port, which is this one here. And for the 7 to 14 to fit, I need an extender on the back, on the back of the port plus an adapter so it can fit on this EM1 housing. Same story here, there's an O-ring here which I need to grease and make sure everything is clean because that is sealing the port with the housing. Once this is ready, I'll usually put this on already because I don't want to be doing this outside, I don't want to get any dirt in here. And it's a really simple system. You basically have these two, two knobs on the ends and they line up with the housing. And then you push it in and that's this big red ring just rotates until it clicks. Now the whole thing is ready to go. It's waterproof and sealed. Let's put the camera into the housing. Okay, so we just open this again. The housing, uh, it's pretty simple. There's nothing easier than this. You just drop the camera in here, make sure the straps are not in the way of anything. And that's about it. The only thing you gotta make sure is that this white switch here lines up with the on off switch. So, so the camera's tight and secure in there. One last thing I do, if I do go into cold or hot water, I use silica gels. You can buy these really cheap and they absorb the moisture inside the housing. And if the temperature changes outside or in the housing, then um, you might have like a fogging, fogging up of the lens port or at the back. 
So basically I just slide these in here and I'll put one in there. Make sure they don't get in the way of the sealing mechanism. And then I just do this and there's this little thing here on the side and it basically just rotates in and the housing is good to go. Just got out, chain got back changed, and not even that cold. And after a cold dive, what do you get? Is <laughs> hot chocolate. <laughs> 